I think we know what's up next. Show us the new stuff and test. Thank you so much, Graham. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not just playing a software tester right now. I am a software tester. And Graham, we know it, and every other tester knows it. The time needed for testing is always infinitely larger than the time available. On top of that, too many repetitive manual testing tasks typically slow us down, allowing those yeah, critical bugs to slip through mm -hmm. and hurting the software we release. So let's now see how Autopilot helps to fix that issue. Let's do it. Now, to do that, let me go to one of my testing projects here in uh, Test Manager. And as you can see, this project is all about a web application. And for this web application over here, we see that we already defined yeah, several requirements for this application. Now, going to one of these requirements, we see that this requirement over here is expressed as a user story, contains information about the user flow, the application logic, and it also contains information about the acceptance criteria, as defined by the product manager. Now, to generate now tests for this particular requirement, all you need to do is click on this button over here, generate tests, and what Autopilot then does in the background, it analyzes the logic of that requirement, analyzing the relation between all these acceptance criteria. And once done, Autopilot will notify you like this to then yeah, show you all the critically, the top test cases Autopilot has found for that particular requirement. So these are displayed over here. Now, you won't be 100% satisfied with what Autopilot suggests all the time. So that means you can also add your instructions over here to yeah, make Autopilot generate the test cases that are specifically tailored to your needs. Now, once you're done with that, you just select the test cases you want to create, click on Create over here, and then those test cases you just generated are being linked to the requirement. Now, going to one of these manual test cases we just generated, we see that we don't just generate the name of the test case, we also generate step-by-step -step manual yeah, instructions that allow you to immediately execute that manual test case. But the story doesn't end there. You know it, Graham, we are UiPath, we live and breathe automation, so the next step is pretty clear. We want to automate those manual test cases. So to do that, uh, let me switch to Studio. And this project here in Studio is linked to the project you have just seen in Test Manager. Now, whenever we do that, we immediately show you all the manual test cases we can find in this project here in Studio. So you can think of it as a to-do list for your test automation developer. Now, to automate one of these manual test cases, let's first of all load uh, one of these manual test cases here in Studio. And when we do that, we convert all the manual test steps we just generated in Test Manager here to code comments, as you can see. Now, what you just see are our brand new coded automation capabilities that allow developers to write any type of automation in C Sharp in Studio. Perfect. Now, with the object repository containing yeah, all the elements of the application you are testing, your buttons, your links, your tables, you basically have everything you need in order to turn this yeah, pile of text into an actual automation. How do you do that? Well, you just select uh, the text comments over here and click on Generate Code. Wow. So what's happening here, Ingo, behind the scenes? So what Autopilot does now behind the scenes, it uh, analyzes all the manual test steps. It builds a cohesive story from all these manual test steps. It cross-checks with the object repository to figure out are there technical elements that can be used for the automation, and of course, Autopilot constantly interacts also with our driver framework to build the actual automation. And Graham, here, here it is. Go. The magic just happened, so <laughs> to say, right? Now, the best part of it, you can also customize the automation according to your needs. So this is just a suggestion Autopilot does. So now let's do the final proof, and let's also see if we can execute this automated test case. So Studio now compiles the project, makes this automated test case ready for execution, and here you go, the automated test case just kicked off. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's the short story of how you can not only generate manual test cases from requirements, but also automate 
those manual test cases in just a matter of minutes with autopilot. That's all I have. Thanks so much. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you.